Alright, so it's time for another pizza video. I'm gonna make sure I don't leave you for too long without one. Now, we all know and love the classics. Those pizzas where less is more and it's all about the quality of a few ingredients instead of the quantity. Well, that's not that video. This video is dedicated to that guilty pleasure pizza. The pizza from your local takeaway joint that you like but you always thought that you can improve. Or that pizza that you always liked but you never admitted to in front of your foodie friends. It's the takeaway style pizza that you should make at home. I know this is gonna trigger some of you, but you know what? That's okay. Because if you went ahead and you made that and you tried it, I'm sure that would change your mind. And if it did, and you have the sand to admit it, then who knows, maybe I'll deliver one to you. All right, let's roll. In a small pan, heat up a good amount of olive oil, into which we're gonna fry off half an onion and two or three, depending on the size, cloves of garlic, which you can grate just like I did, or very, very finely dice, it's up to you. We're also gonna add chili flake for some kick, a pinch of salt, and some dried oregano. Let that sizzle for a few minutes until all those flavors come together. Then give it a stir to make sure that nothing is stuck to the bottom and pour in a good quality can of tomatoes. Rinse the can with a little bit of water and add that in as well. Give it a good stir to incorporate the tomatoes with the base of the sauce and add another pinch of dried oregano, a couple of sprigs of fresh basil, a pinch of sugar and then give all of that a little stir. Then we're gonna let that simmer for at least 15-20 minutes but preferably around half an hour. After which we're gonna fish out the basil, season with a pinch of salt and call our tomato sauce done. To make that controversial dressing, we're gonna combine a couple of spoons of creme fraiche, a splash of vinegar, and a splash of water to thin it down a little. We're looking for consistency where it just runs off the spoon like that. Once we're happy with it, we can start adding the seasonings. A big pinch of dried oregano, garlic powder, some freshly cracked black pepper, and of course some salt. How much of these is entirely up to your taste. I know this dressing is gonna be a deal breaker for a lot of you, but trust me, just make it and try it. It goes really, really well on this pizza, especially together with the chili oil. For the toppings, I have some little store-bought meatballs, you can also use sausage, that I'm gonna crumble into a little ball. Grab one big or a couple of small cloves of garlic, give them a good smack to release the peel, and then just give them a fine dice. Then we're gonna macerate the garlic by throwing a big pinch of salt for abrasiveness and running the blade of the knife over it like that. Go over it one more time to make it a real fine puree. Heat up some olive oil in a small pan, to which we're gonna add the garlic first followed by some chili flakes and some dried oregano. Give these not more than half a minute, just enough so that they can really flavor that oil. Add the crumbled meatballs, to give it a good stir and fry for a couple of minutes until they pick up some color and all the flavors get to know each other. Pour the mixture out into a little bowl and reserve it for later. The original pizza comes with some jarred mushrooms. In the same pan that we fried off the meatballs, add a little bit more olive oil and throw in aforementioned mushrooms. All we're gonna add to that is a little bit of salt. What we're doing is just giving the mushrooms a little boost. By frying them in the pan for a couple minutes, we're just gonna get rid of the excess water and give them a little color. And what does color equal? It equals flavor. Put those aside as well and we're ready for final assembly. Make sure that your work surface is well floured. We're using a 250 gram bowl of our pizza dough, which if you don't know how to make, you can click on the link in the top right corner. Start stretching the dough by running your fingers along the rim, leaving about a centimeter for the crust. Then pick it up and let gravity help you with the stretching. And finally, let it hang off the knuckles of your fingers and pass it from one hand to the other. If you have a pizza peel, grab that or use a piece of parchment paper if you don't. Dust that with some cornmeal or semolina flour and lay the crust on top. Time for one last stretch on the peel and we're ready to hit it with the toppings. Spread a couple of tablespoons of our tomato sauce, followed by our meatball mixture.
Then the mushrooms. And top with some cheese. I'm using some dry shredded mozzarella. Give it one last shake to make sure that nothing is stuck and bake into a preheated oven at the hottest setting. Now for max authenticity, we're serving this in a takeaway pizza box. Our pizza boy is coming out of the oven and it's time to hit it with the dressing and some of our homemade chili oil. Check out the video if you want to know how to make that and trust me, you want to. Tell me, do you believe in the dressing? You will. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, my food has arrived. Roll out 